there is a lack of confidence among many engineering students i meet today many engineering students are trying for lower grade non engineering jobs there are many who make memes and stand up comedies about engineering studies and engineers as a whole this tendency in the society has affected the morale of engineering students to a great extent many students who really like engineering are also affected because of this tendency which is going on in the society that is why i wanted to make this video specifically for engineers and engineering students to watch this video in tamil please click the link in the top listen every sentence of this video carefully because i will be breaking many misconceptions which are present in the society by the end of this video you will understand how you can also become a great engineer and contribute to human kind quickly i am going to share five points number 1 who are engineers and what is the relevance of engineers to this society every profession plays its role in this world and contributes to the betterment of human life engineering is as noble as any other profession in this world Let's consider doctors why do we give such a high importance to them mostly our answer would be because they save lives exactly now consider this we see stethoscopes around doctor's neck right who made it we see equipments like x-ray machines mri scans ecg machines etc in the hospital right who made them we see multi specialty hospital buildings meticulously designed for convenience of patients right who designed and built it it's all engineers right if a doctor saves human lives engineers are there at the back of doctors to help them to save lives now let us not compare engineering with another profession just wherever you are look around the houses we live the buildings around us the vehicles we move electrical appliances like refrigerator washing machine air conditioner mixer grinder etc hardware devices like laptops mobile phone and the softwares in them everything is conceived designed planned manufactured quality controlled maintained and improved by engineers right it's not at all an exaggeration if i say everything in this world which is artificial or made by engineers and that has made life much easier for human beings so please be proud to be an engineer bro as an engineer you are going to serve humanity in the same way as other professions do in most cases our contributions are much higher than many other professions as well number 2 ever expanding horizon of engineering Today engineering is applied in every field. Think of conventional fields like agriculture. You might have heard of a engineering stream called food technology which is in many colleges today. Today that is helping farmers in agriculture, harvesting, storage of food, transport, value addition to food products, packing, etc. In the same way engineering is contributing in textiles as textile engineering. It is there in chemistry as chemical engineering. It is there in biology as bioinformatics. so on and so forth in the same way emerging technologies like artificial intelligence data science space technology nanotechnology etc are nothing without engineering number 3 each engineering stream has spectrum of career options i am saying this point because you may be someone who selected engineering because of the head mentality which is in the society that is you selected engineering because your friend selected it or some of your uncle suggested it without understanding what is engineering and whether it is in alignment with your career interest or not otherwise you might have chose engineering because you felt that engineering is the only option where you will get high salary sadly these two are the reasons for many students in selecting their career path today even if you are someone who selected engineering because of these reasons and now thinking that it is a misfit for you or you couldn't find that comfort in engineering engineering within itself having a spectrum of options you can find a future out of it for example a mechanical engineer can become a mining engineer a thermal engineer a design engineer a production engineer a quality control engineer a industrial engineer a maintenance engineer material science engineer so on and so forth one of this may align to your interest for example i myself came into mechanical engineering without having any proper idea about it just because i was only focused on getting a medical seat i didn't get it so i thought engineering is the only other option then i went to engineering and i took mechanical engineering though i could develop interest towards mechanical engineering and performed reasonably well in the exams 
I didn't somehow find that complete connect or comfort with that subject. However, in the final year, I did a project which is related to industrial engineering. At the same time, I also started preparing for gate examination and there also I came to understand more about industrial engineering. I felt like I am born to be an industrial engineer and industrial engineering is something which comes very natural to me. Hence, after clearing gate, I went on to pursue my M.Tech in industrial engineering and management. I got a corporate job in MNC in industrial engineering itself. I loved that job. Even today, whenever there is an opportunity, I am consulting businesses on improving their operations management and supply chain. So what I'm trying to say is when you are preparing engineering subjects, there may be some subject in which you will feel that ikigai or that perfect match with your career personality and your career interest. You can focus on that subject and you can develop your skills on that area. Maybe if required, you can do a master's specializing in that area and that can land you in a best suited career path. If you feel that you are a misfit and you are struggling to understand the direction of your life, you can surely book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me through the links given in the description. I can help you to find a best suitable career path for you. If you are a school student, I would request you to please contact a career counsellor and do a proper psychometric assessment before deciding on your graduation degree and stream. That will give you a lot of clarity about your strengths and it will save you from a lot of stress in your future. You can take a comprehensive psychometric assessment using the link given in the description as well. Please take a moment, like this video and subscribe this channel. Hi, I am Ebenezer. I help people discover and live their full potential. Number four, job opportunities for engineers are actually growing. There is a myth that is going on in the society again, which says that there is oversupply of engineers and engineers are jobless. It is true that many engineering graduates are struggling to get good job. Many are preparing for lower level government jobs as well. Graduates from many other streams are also going through job crisis. The reason for not getting job is elsewhere and it is not true that job for engineers are not growing. If you read the India Skill Report 2023 released by the government of India, you will clearly understand that actually year by year requirement for engineering graduates are increasing in India. Indian engineers are having job opportunities increasing not only in India but across the world. In developed countries like the USA, Canada, European countries, Japan, Australia, etc. The population is getting older and there are very less young people who is in the working age population. Because of this, there is a growing demand for graduates with technical skills in these countries. So what is the reason that many engineering graduates are unemployed? First of all, we need to understand that job market depends on many things. If there is a recession or if the business cycle is going through a downward trend, there will be lack of job opportunities. This will not affect engineering alone. It will affect every other field in this world. Second, many reports suggest that only 5 to 8 percentage of engineers coming out of college are employable. So what you can do so that you can get job immediately? There are two mantras which you need to follow. Number one is developing excellence. When I say excellence, what is excellence? Excellence is when you understand the basic concepts of your engineering stream thoroughly and you have a proper understanding of the application of those concepts. Second, developing your skills. When you are in your college itself, please get certified in industry demanded skills, which are of your interest too. It can be from your own stream or it can be from IT or software fields as well. Those certifications can give you added advantage and also try to get your final year projects from industries or at least internships from industry, which will help you to have an industry orientation when you are completing your graduation. Along with that, you should try to develop your soft skills like communication, networking, etc. You can also learn foreign languages like French, German or Japanese. That will give you advantage to get jobs in those countries as well. Number five, basic engineering streams won't go anywhere. This is another misconception in the society today. Everybody is guiding students towards computer science and IT alone. 
thinking that other streams like civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, even electronics engineering will not have job opportunities. Even if Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is asking for career guidance today, they will not allow him to take aeronautical engineering. Instead, they will ask him to take IT or computer science. This is creating confusion among students who are really interested in these fields but are diverted towards fields which they may not like. More so, those students who have taken these subjects already and studying in engineering colleges are also having lack of confidence and they are also really wondering how they have to proceed with their career direction. Please listen carefully. Yes, there is an increase in demand for software and computer science engineers because of advanced technologies like industrial revolution 4.0 which is based on automation technologies like artificial intelligence machine learning data science etc are becoming an integral part of every stream of engineering and hence there is more demand in the world and more pay for these engineers so if you are already from computer science or it or even if you are from another stream but you have interest in programming or learning these skills please excel in it and you will have more opportunities but please understand this new age careers and industrial revolution 4.0 is not only related to computer science and it but there are many emerging fields in these conventional engineering streams as well for example think about it are we going to stop building our houses dams bridges etc there are new technologies like 3d printing of houses are emerging but it will only target the lower mundane level jobs even if houses are more and more built by 3d printing you need civil engineers to do the soil testing designing the buildings conducting structural study managing civil construction etc right again there are new concepts like green housing green architecture is evolving in civil which are also new age careers so if you are a civil engineer and you have interest in civil engineering please focus on your subject and excel in it in the same way are we going to stop manufacturing goods designing of tools boilers automobiles aircrafts etc or are we going to stop robots so even with the advancement of technology you need mechanical engineers to design check the strength deciding the material to be used to check the computational fluid dynamics etc right and emerging fields like robotics and 3d printing also need mechanical engineers contribution so it is not like mechanical engineering is going to completely collapse hence if you are a mechanical engineer who is interested in the core field you can please work on it are we going to shut down our power stations power transmission lines other electrical devices because of industrial revolution 4.0 new emerging fields like solar technology hydrogen based power plants are emerging right and many are even discouraging students from taking electronics engineering aren't all these advances in telecommunication and in technology need semiconductor chips embedded programming sensor developments etc so for god's sake if you are a civil engineer mechanical engineer electrical engineer or an electronics engineer please don't be bothered that you don't have any opportunity if you have your interest aligned again you have to follow only those two mantras i told that is to develop excellence and second to develop your skills understand that ai and data science are automating many things and because of that there can be change in the way we design our products we produce our goods and we distribute our goods if you are keeping in touch with what is going on in the industry and what changes are happening you will be able to skill yourself and another thing you need to focus on is every engineering stream is becoming multidisciplinary today you need to have a holistic understanding of how all these things come together there may be an advantage if you also learn some kind of programming language like python or at least matlab etc which will be of advantage to you when you approach industry lastly a bonus tip for students who are coming from tier 2 or tier 3 level engineering colleges who feel that the quality of education in your college is not that high and that is very less placement for you so you may be afraid of your future i want to give you confidence in a recent article in the washington post it highlighted how engineering graduates from tier 1 engineering colleges like iits nits and university campuses are going abroad for their job and india is making achievements like mangalyaan chandrayaan etc through the help of engineers who come from 
tier 2 and tier 3 engineering colleges it is very much true and you can also contribute for the development of our country in the same way if you follow excellence and if you also develop your skills if you are not getting a proper placement one way out may also be preparing for competitive examination like gate because if you qualify gate even with less marks you will be able to get a seat at least from an nit in the specialization which is aligned to your interest and through that after completion of your pg you may be able to get a good placement when you study in these kind of colleges even if you couldn't clear gate the preparation itself will help you to land in a core job opportunity because you have thorough understanding of the basic concept in the next video i will be breaking many myths about gate examination and how a sincere preparation for gate examination can give you a breakthrough in your life to conclude this video please be proud to be an engineer if you agree with me that engineers are contributing to the society and humanity as a whole and engineers are the reason for us to have a better life today please write salute to engineers in the comment box and i will meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching do participate in the comment section with your views and suggestions thank you so much for listening we'll meet in the next video